In Italy, we study languages at uh, school, uh, but we don't uh, speak them uh, very well. Uh, uh, what about Sweden? You're not blonde, but uh, you're from uh, Sweden, right? Yes, in Sweden, we speak French, German, English, and we learn from a really, really low age. And not everyone is blonde. Ha! But you do have a very strong uh, Swedish accent. Uh, I don't uh, think I have an accent. I speak English uh, very much good. <laughs> oh, yes, you do have an accent. All Italians have an accent, if they even speak English at all. Maybe we don't speak uh, languages, but we don't need... Uh, we speak uh, the body language with our hands. <laughs> in Sweden, that would look silly. We simply keep the hands in the pockets. <laughs> the first time we meet a foreigner, we all make assumptions about who they are. Unconscious assumptions based on what we believe, on stereotypes, on their language skills and their accent. For example, Swedish are supposed to be blonde, Italians, they don't speak English, Chinese is impossible to learn, Lithuanian grammars, oh my god. <laughs> what we found out is that languages are easy to learn. All you have to do, you have to make a very good first impression. Languages are wonderful. Learning a language is a life-changing experience. Are you learning a language? The journey is so fascinating, and the rewards at the end are incredible. And we're not talking about studying the grammar here. When you speak a foreign language, you get to know natives on a deeper level. Mandela said it clearly. If you speak to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. Now, if you speak to him in his language, that goes to his heart. Today, studying languages, it's easy and accessible. There are language courses everywhere, and we can even study languages from our phones. But too often, when we study languages, we tend to isolate ourselves. We're too shy for speaking, so we start to making excuses, like I need more grammar, I need more rules, I need more words. Truth is, we're just afraid of making mistakes. So we hide behind studying, just to avoid the pain and embarrassment of speaking another language. We both speak together about 10 different languages. And we've been living in foreign countries for many years. We've been to traditional courses, we used any possible software out there, and we managed to find our ways to learn languages. But it's been challenging. It required a lot of time and effort. And uh, when we met, we met here in Lithuania about one year ago. We did not speak Lithuanian. And if you can imagine our knowledge on a graph, we met, we didn't speak, and then all of a sudden, two months ago, it all exploded. What happened? Before, we were studying the traditional way, you know, with the grammar and so on. Our Lithuanian friends kept speaking to us in English, though trying to convince us that Lithuanian is too hard to learn. But didn't, we didn't want to give up, so we kept studying, and you, the Lithuanians, you kept talking to us in English. At some point, we, we just look at each other and we just, let's wake up. You know what we can do? We can talk Lithuanian to each other. So imagine this. <laughs> An Italian and a Swede speaking broken, broken Lithuanian. <laughs> and you were laughing, you were laughing in the office, they were laughing on the street. But we could not care less because we were finally using Lithuanian. So what we were doing every day for at least 10 minutes, instead of using English, we were using Lithuanian without being afraid of making mistakes, talking about life, food, work, everything. Finally, we were speaking Lithuanian. Well, at least to each other. Yeah. <laughs> because, unfortunately, our Lithuanian friends kept speaking to us in English. And we uh, told them, we asked, we complained, we even blogged about it. And they did not change. We realized we were doing a big mistake. We were complaining. In English. <laughs> so, we started to complain in Lithuanian. And that day, during our 10 minutes of daily practice, we took the phone and we decided to record the conversation. And it more or less looked like this. Hi, I'm Moez, Swedish. I'm Claudio, I'm from Italy. 
and we really want to speak Lithuanian. So please talk to us in Lithuanian. But here's the trick. We didn't record the video in English, we recorded it in Lithuanian. Čia mūės iš Švedijos. Čia Klaudio iš Italijos. Ir mes labai norim kalbėti lietuviškai. Prašo, kalbėkite su mumis lietuviškai. And that's it. So we look at the video and was like, oh, this is cool. We can speak Lithuania. Let's brag with our community about this. So we shared it on Facebook. And our friends, maybe in the audience, you started to like this. And then you started to share it with your friends. And your friends, they shared it with their friends. It went viral. Two major Lithuanian portals, they posted on the homepage. <laughs> we were a Facebook hit. In less than 24 hours, 200,000 people, they saw it. In Lithuania, that's a big number. <laughs> and and it's, it's hard to believe what happened the next day, because magically, our friends, they started to talk to us in Lithuanian. <laughs> they were strangers stopping us on the street, like, uh, we started to speak Lithuanian all day long. Journalists, they wanted to speak with us, and that morning, we gave an interview in Lithuanian for two hours. <laughs> we look at each other like, oh my God, we had a headache, but we could not believe we could speak Lithuanian. A few days later, the municipality of Vilnius invited us. <laughs> we met with the mayor, a radio show, they wanted to interview us, and now we are there every Wednesday. <laughs> and of course, TEDx Vilnius was interested, and now we're here talking to you about our story. We have a country, and now we're so busy speaking Lithuanian and learning the language for free that we don't have time to study the language anymore. <laughs> At first, we thought we were just lucky, of course. But um, learning a language, it's a psychology game. And it's important to set up the right environment to win this game. The language learning trailer, that's how we call it, it works. Why? First of all, it shows that you really want to speak the language. It shows that you care. And it also shows that you already can speak. Maybe not perfectly, but you can. We made tons of mistakes in our video, which was totally fine. You should make mistakes. Finally, it shows it's fun. You don't have to be insecure about your poor skills. Just relax, be confident. It takes about 100 pictures to make a good selfie, right? You can make as many videos as you need to look confident for 30 seconds. So this language learning trailer really works, and it changed our lives. But you know what? It could work also for anybody here, for any language, for any country. All you need is a friend, practice the language together, and when you're confident enough, take the phone and make that video. So what you can talk about, complain with the native and say, please talk to us in your language. But don't do that in English. You need to do, if you study French, Spanish, or Italian, you need to make that video in French, Spanish, or Italian. That's when the video becomes really powerful. Hands on your heart, your Bible, or your iPhone. Are you stuck with your language learning? Do you keep complaining that it's too hard to learn? Did they manage to convince you that this language is impossible? This is our solution. Find a friend, make a video, and have fun speaking together in that other language. So don't use English. Share it on the internet. Now get ready. Everybody will speak to you in that other language. We should not forget why we're learning languages. If you enjoy studying and it works for you, please keep on studying. But if you are stuck, it's time for a change. We all need to change our beliefs about language learning. Languages are easy to learn. All we have to do is really create the right environment where we can practice and feeling safe. A simple video can really change everything. So, do you want to learn a language? Make that video!